गाइस दिस इज मालिंकी वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल वॉइस ऑफ मालिंकी टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट कम्युनिटी इकोलॉजी पार्ट टू एंड इफ यू आर न्यू इन माय चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियो प्लीज डू लाइक कमेंट एंड शेयर माय वीडियो सो इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव टॉक्ट अबाउट द पार्ट वन ऑफ कम्युनिटी इकोलॉजी सो दिस इज डन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू चेक दैट लेक्चर लिंक इज प्रोवाइडेड इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स and today we will talk about the interdependence that each organism of a community is dependent on other organisms so we have seen that interdependence can be of different types like competition predation parasitism mutualism commensalism and amensalism so let's talk about them one by one so first is competition now when organisms of two species use the same limited resource and compete for it it is called competition now competition negatively affects both the participants hence this is denoted as negative negative interaction so this negative is for the species 1 and this negative is for the species 2 so both species are competing with each other and both are getting some harm because both could be injured both will lose their energy like that example so woodpeckers and squirrels they compete for their nesting where in the same holes in some trees this is the example of competition next is predation in predation a member of one species called predator hunts another organism of a different species called prey for its nutritional requirements this interaction is beneficial for the predator but harmful for the prey hence it is denoted as plus minus interaction plus is for species 1 that is predator v is getting benefited and minus is for species 2 which is prey which is getting harmed so this is the plus minus interaction for example a snake eats a frog here snake is the predator right and frog is the pray okay now predation can also involve an insect consuming a plant part this type of predation is known as herbivory next is parasitism so in a parasitism two species live in a close interaction that is beneficial to one the parasite and harmful to the other that is the host and we can denote this type of interaction like plus minus interaction because plus is for the species one v is getting benefit that is the parasite and minus is for species 2 which is getting harmed who is the host so it is the plus minus interaction in this case we can see the example that is the tapeworm which is the parasite tapeworm is the parasite it lives in our body so it gets benefit but human is the host 
wish harmed next type of interaction is mutualism so in a mutualism two species live in a long term interaction that is beneficial to both of them this is denoted as plus plus interaction because your species 1 is getting benefit and species 2 is also getting benefit for example many of the plants have a mutualistic associations with certain fungi and the plant can photosynthesize and synthesis food right photosynthesis and this food is provided to the fungus and the fungus in turn captures water nutrients from the soil and provides them to the plant so both of them are getting benefited next type of interaction is commensalism in a commensalism two species live in a long term interaction that is beneficial to one and has no positive or negative effect on the other this type of interaction could be denoted as plus zero interaction because here species 1 is getting benefited and species 2 is not having any positive or negative effect for example many bacteria survive in our body they get benefit by utilizing shelter then nutrients however they don't show any helpful or harmful effect on us next type of interaction is amensalism in an amensalism one species finds danger but has no positive or negative effect on the other this type of interaction could be denoted as minus zero interaction because here species 1 is finding the danger so it is getting negative effect and species 2 is not having any positive or negative effect so it is denoted by zero for example growth of smaller plants are sometimes inhibited by the dominance of higher plants however this does not show any helpful or harmful effect on higher plants